Hi everyone, welcome back. This is a video about the Enneagram 8. It's an overview that will talk about the place where the personality traits came from in childhood and give you a brief overview of some of the characteristics of the type 8. unsafe childhood environment where they are forced to grow up too quickly and feel the need to protect themselves and those closest to them. This can be a lot of different things. They can be around drug dealers, street gangs, dangerous environments, war zones, violence, etc. However, some are from seemingly normal family environments but felt the need to protect their feelings at a young age. Young eights feel it is not safe to be gentle or giving. This is soft and weak and only invites rejection, betrayal, and pain. Often, eight children struggle with powerful feelings of having been rejected or betrayed. They were often adventurous and assertive and got into situations that led to being punished frequently. Rather than detach or withdraw from their punishers, young eights defended themselves against the feeling of rejection with the attitude, to hell with them, who needs them, no one tells me what to do. Eights want to be loved, but the more they feel rejected and treated like misfits, the more they harden their hearts. As adults, eights became mavericks, rebels, black sheep of the family, family scapegoats. They bucked the system wherever possible. Eights may have been abandoned, felt betrayed by, been abused physically or sexually. Although young eights were powerless to do anything about this at the time, they made the decision to never let this happen to them again. Betrayal is a pivotal point in an eights life as it marked the death of their innocence and goodness. When the inner core was betrayed by someone important, eights decided they would never be vulnerable or innocent again. If backgrounds are remorselessly threatening, eights tend to become as remorseless to themselves as they are to others. Once the heart is buried, even grief over lost innocence can be forgotten. The childhood message of an eight. It's not okay to be vulnerable or to trust anyone. Childhood tendencies. Having lots of energy, enjoying leadership roles, being strong-willed, being confident, having compassion toward the underdog, seeking justice, and having big ideas. Eights as children are independent, have an inner strength and a fighting spirit, are sometimes loners, seize control so they won't be controlled, figure out others' weaknesses, attack verbally or physically when provoked, take charge in the family because they perceive themselves as the strongest or they grew up in difficult or abusive surroundings. Eights as parents are often loyal, caring, involved, and devoted, are sometimes overprotective, can be demanding, controlling, and rigid. Core fears, being weak, feeling powerless, being underestimated, humiliated, controlled, manipulated, and at the mercy of injustice. The defense mechanism of the eight is denial. They unconsciously negate things that make them feel anxious by acting as if those things never happened. They deny thoughts, feelings, wishes, sensations, needs, and other external factors they deem unacceptable. They may either deny reality altogether or admit something is true but deny the severity of it. If they admit and affirm the severity of a situation, they deny having played any part of it. Eights become withdrawn and quiet when exhausted. The sin and passion of the eight is lust. Lust refers to a constant drive toward intensity and control. Eights push everything in their lives to be better, bigger, more interesting, and intensely stimulating. Lust causes eights to believe they must feel or encounter life at an intense level to be truly making a difference. It also keeps them feeling a need to push their way into the world as a way of passionately pursuing their plans. Core desire of eights, to protect themselves and those they love, to be seen as smart, competent, and strong, to be loved and valued, to make a big difference in the world, to be the best version of themselves. Their divine attribute is strength. Their core desire is to be in control. The signature sin is lust. The core fear is being taken advantage of. Their heart longs to hear, 
you will never be betrayed. Their healthy self-image is honest and tenacious. When eights are thriving, they are compassionate and understanding. Eights are a part of the gut triad. They are intuitive, they fight for the underdog, they desire to control their environments, they repress their fears and vulnerabilities, they react in aggressive ways out of anger, they fear being betrayed, they are in tune with what is happening in their environments, and they resist being controlled by others. Eights are strong and powerful when fulfilling their purpose. Key eight motivations, making a difference in the world, protecting the underdog, being self-reliant, controlling their environment, and appearing competent and successful. Priorities for eights, keeping order and control, maintaining their autonomy, avoiding vulnerability, protecting themselves as well as their loved ones. How to get along with eights. Tell them the truth and don't sugarcoat things. Give them bullet points. Get behind them when they take action. Don't undermine their authority. Don't be afraid to have hard conversations with them. Stand up for yourself and me. Be confident, strong, and direct. Don't gossip about me or betray my trust. Be vulnerable and share your feelings. See and acknowledge my tender, vulnerable side. Give me space to be alone. Acknowledge the contributions I make, but don't flatter me. I often speak in an assertive way. Don't automatically assume it's a personal attack. When I scream, curse, and stomp around, try to remember that's just the way I am. Please click subscribe and share my video with anyone that you feel might benefit from it. Thank you so much for watching.